Department of Ancient History, Log Entry 238. I have devoted years of my life to the search for an ancient occult formula intended to reverse the flow of time. I am trying to decipher the writings of long-forgotten scribes, and I believe I have made a significant find in one of the old alchemical notes we found on Vernum, an island off the coast of Norway. I have brought all the material I have gathered to my home in order to study it without any distractions. The books speak of a spiritual presence, a thing of darkness which stalks unhindered across all dimensions. It is said to be all-seeing and all-knowing. I can feel my mind losing its grasp on reality as I dig deeper and deeper into this madness. Reading aloud exacerbates the process, but also I sense a force taking hold of my mind. Yet it is by such thorough disquisition upon the contents of these books that I believe I have found a solution to my wife's affliction. And yet, now I begin to fear that it is far too late. Signed, Professor Theodore Westmark. They wait, patient and potent, for here they shall reign again. The Dunwich Horror by H.P. Lovecraft. Welcome to Stuck Inside Gaming's playthrough of Westmark Manor. This is a gothic uh, survival horror puzzle game that I've never played, but I always kind of wanted to when I found it, because it looked pretty interesting. Um... From the look of that intro there, uh, you play as a detective, I think, looking for um, Westmark himself. Maybe he's gone missing in the manor. Trick or treat? That's setting. What do you mean, trick or treat? This game needs huge amounts of patience and attention. I didn't want to do that. This game needs huge amounts of patience and attention. Stay alert and vigilant to your surroundings in order to survive and finish the game. Westmark Manor is best played in a dark room with headphones on to get the best experience. Your destiny has been set. I just wanted to know what you meant by trick or treat! Did I select the game's hardest difficulty by accident? It is a jack o -lantern. No, oh, don't want to quit. Main menu. New game. I I wasn't sure what that was gonna be. So, how do you ex view exploration? Interesting obstacle. More sigils. Less sigils. Exploration is more inter is interesting. View obstacles don't know. More sanity. I would appreciate more sanity. Is free will real or just an illusion? There is no fate. Does it matter? 
So that would be even of both. That'll get me... Are you a careless person? Kind of? Is time relevant for pleasure? Um, there are many ways to answer that. Okay, so yeah, the trick-or-treat does, does do a certain thing. Um, because there was no sigil there before. Disney has been set, pro space, same thing. I think I did accidentally unlock the hard or uh, jump into the hardest difficulty setting with that. Ow. Wake me up! Wake me up inside! Oh. That's the last time I have whiskey on the rocks before bed. A red door. We probably don't want to go that way. We probably have to go that way. Oh, so only some of the lines are dialogue or uh, dubbed. Theodore Westmark. What an odd place, and it's dark. I need to find a light somewhere. Uh huh. My notebook. Notebook. This is my dear old notebook. My best friend in need. What? My best friend in need. When memory fails me, all notes collected will be saved here. Inventory by clicking tab or keyboard Y on the controller. Get the get to the notebook by clicking N. Get to the map by clicking M. Can swap between these in the menu by pressing Q and E. Okay. Seems like the mouse does, is entirely unnecessary. Okay. Waking up in a place other than my bed was disconcerting. The noisome dark air filled me with dread. It is no mere darkness I see before me, I whispered to myself, but death itself. Where's the robe and sickle? Darkness. I'd rather avoid the deep unknown darkness if possible. My condition makes me stiff in fear if I subject myself in it for too long. I will need a light source to see what I am doing in the, pl in the room. Darkness can also be very scary in some places, and having a lantern helps. Find a lantern with oil, or turn on lights with matches in some rooms in order to fight the dark ones, and to be able to find what you are looking for. Using matches in certain light source on certain light sources can also help to find useful things in rooms. Okay. Take a match. Hermetic seal piece. This piece looks as if it fits into something else. Seal plate. And identification kit. Sure. Gimme. Sanity note. These, this symbol represents your sanity. Your sanity is what keeps you going and keeps you alive, and once the sanity bar is empty, you will loot you will be lost in the darkness and will have to load your last save or spend sanity points to revive you in the same room. You have sanity points now and these are used towards things that have sanity cost like saving at podiums. Spend these points wisely. Okay. 
Okay, so it's just so dark that we're getting spooked. That's strange. I didn't get a chance to read that. He decided to skip it. seems to be missing. Okay. Ha. That is. Huh? This lantern could become useful in this dark place. Activate and deactivate lantern by pressing F. Light reveals hidden things in the dark and protects you. Okay, why is it suddenly skipping things? Light sources like the lantern help you traverse the space where darkness is affecting you. Lanterns can be turned on and off by pressing F. Lanterns run on lamp oil, so always have lamp oil in the inventory is good to have if you want to travel through dark corridors. So there's still a thing to pick up over here. So clearly this game is actually better with the controller. I'm currently using the keyboard. Oh, door handle. Okay. That's strange. Billowing wisps of damp air filled my lungs as I took in the familiar yet haunting atmosphere. I thought to myself that this may look and feel like fragments of the Westmark estate, but it is not. Sigil's note. I am locked in. The sigil on the door is a lock of some sort. The number of on the door represents the toll to unlock it. I think getting enough sigils should break the lock so I can escape this twisted place. You acquire sigils by completing puzzles in the house. You can see your accumulated sigils in the inventory menu. Number of sigils you need to unlock the door. Okay. Tome podium. No, not right now. in this door. <laughs> Clock winding key, brass ingot, clay, and herbs. Perhaps, perhaps what? Matches all of a sudden. Table. Identification kit skeleton. Skeleton key part with Roman one. Casket key. Bring that 
smell. Nothing you would want to set your teeth in, that's for certain. A kitchen for another purpose than to please the senses. And this smell I will never forget. Well, not if you write it down in your journal, air boy. Thank you. This looks odd. A pot bubbling with excitement, but the smell is very unpleasant. Someone was preparing food here. The meat looks strange and smells bad. It's probably people! Scroll. Kaba Ancient Transcript, Guardian of the Dark. A protectorate of the dark, Kaba is, wa is the watchful eye of the dark and shines a crimson light wherever she goes. She is sensitive to bright light and angers easily if provoked. This empty soul can be de can be a deadly foe, but a helpful hand as well. Beware of the crimson light, that, for that is when Kaba is on the prowl. A bringer of death, purger of light. It will hunt as long as you stay in this forsaken world. Well, that's not nice. Ooh, chest. Identification kit. He's watching. Uh huh. <laughs> He's watching. Aha! This will come to use. Nope, don't cap. Bye now. Oh. Okay. Um. So I gotta go through everything again. Oh, I didn't even check it here. Elizabeth Diary Entry 1. The 5th of August, 1890. Theodore, I love you. Three simple little words, and yet never uttered or inscribed in ink by me or another soul. My love is equal, and I will stay, and will stay strong through high winds. The first time I saw you, my thoughts went to utter, to the most utter in to the uttermost indecency, yet I feel a passion that is more than just physical, and I cherish that. I wonder where our next escapade will lead us. To plenty of fun rooms, madam. He's watching. Uh -huh. A hatch. Interesting. A hatch. It leads to other places like a shortcut, but fumbling in the dark is pointless. I need to find the others before I can go anywhere. I'm here. Okay. Does the plant have anything? No. Yeah. Get around that chair. Well, that's just concerning. No, not yet. Major oil flask. Nice. Thilix. Well, that'll lead me back to the kitchen, and this is a safe room. Excellent. Good to know. Aye. Tell me about yeah. you. I might be sitting here staring at... staring, but ye started staring first. I am not much for spouting out words, bet me self. Good to know.
Ammonia, a caustic substance with a, sing with a stinging smell. Ammonia is named for worshippers of the Egyptian god Amun, who used ammonium chloride in their rituals. Another thing of clay, wooden handle, and a leather. A piece of leather. If you say so, Theodore. Another major oil flask. And consumed an oil flask. But received a sun two sunstones. Did the book just whisper something? Am I hearing things? There's no door down here. Grand Clock. My father's Grand Clock has been with us for ages. It seems to be stuck at 145. Pocket watch. Interesting. My father's pocket watch. I've been looking for it. I've been looking everywhere for this one. It's not ticking and missing hands. Better keep it so I don't lose it again. Oh. What happened here? It's a lot of blood. The sight of it makes me nauseous. <sighs> Jewelry box. Plain match. Hmm. I received X. I don't know what that does for me, but uh -huh. unidentified. It's locked. There is a sun symbol etched into the door. Oh. Portrait of Father Benjamin. Not much to say, really. Always abroad on his trips, I rarely ever saw the man. Family name and legacy was his priority. He mostly kept himself to the lounge rooms with, con with cognac and cigars. Mm. On closer inspection, the painting seems to be signed Craven. I recognize that name. Nice. Small clock. Small clock. It has stopped at 9.20. Oh. Homework. But something I have will. Um. Actually, no. A plain trinket. Another sunstone. And I phase through the wall. Oh, isn't this just brilliant?
I'm pretty sure I'm dead. We'll need a casket key to open it. Sun key. Okay, so that's where that was. Minor oil flask. Nizdush ancient transcript. An ancient collector of souls. Nizdush is an ancient old one that has been bickering with the harbinger for eons. It's said that they were born of the same essence, in human terms, brotherly blood, but gods don't have the same connection to each other like humans do. The spite against the Harbinger goes on, and time is one of the reasons they never saw eye to eye. Legend has it that Nezdush is, wants humans for his own maniacal goals, and that the reason why he lures us he, humans to hand him our prized possessions, and in turn it said he owns a piece of us. What I say, that's might uncalled for. Oh, missing a handle. For your needs. Okay. So. Because I'm pretty sure these go together, but there's no point in having them. Yet. I know where that goes. Pretty sure the mortar and clay or herbs go together. Combine. I, I don't want to do that just yet. Wouldn't handle that. Save for now. Open this hatch. Come on. Ah, there we go. Another wooden, another couple wooden handles. Oh, these just fill right back up. Perhaps what? If everything just kind of resets, then I can just keep collecting materials indefinitely. Another piece of leather. There we go. So that guy doesn't matter. Pile of 
books. Uh -huh. An unidentified book. Anyone in there? Hello? Interesting. Another unidentified book. Botanical book. Voluminous book date. Can't use it. Animalia book. An old book about animals and symbology. Okay, so what good do books do me? I understand I'm a well educated bloke. That doesn't mean I'm necessarily intelligent about it. But it wouldn't handle. Take a nap. Sure, let's see what happens. Okay. Oh, sweet. Another unidentified book. Ow. Shot. We'll need something in order to get through. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Impossible to use a handle. Okay, so it's implying I have something I can use, but I don't know what to use. Written on four. So I need four sigils in order to open that. So let's go back and see what hat what that sun door has behind it. Actually, I'll check this door first. All right. Another piece of leather. Armor I probably don't want to get too close to. Interesting. Another unidentified book. It's locked. I don't have a casket key, and that is a red light. <sighs> what about that then? It's another blockade. Some more herbs. Wait, what? How did I go from that end to this end by going farther right? I don't understand. Storage box. 
Come on, open it. It's locked. Reliquary key. Yeah. It's locked. Reliquary key there too. Mm. I don't want to oh. do that. I'm missing a handle. Okay. I think that's all the time we have for this episode. I'm not going to save again just because of what little I did between it. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video game and the commentary. Feel free to like, subscribe, maybe check out some of the other stuff I've done. And as always, if we're stuck inside, we might as well game. I'll see you next time.